Hi guys, my name is Daniel, I'm from Man Street Kitchen and this morning we thought we'd share a video of how to make homemade ricotta. Something super duper easy and just with uh, three simple ingredients, milk, cream and we use vegetarian rennet. Um, if you can't get a hold of rennet then you can either use white vinegar or fresh lemon juice as well. So all you need, and you do need a thermometer as well, I forgot about that. Um, so all we're doing is milk straight into the pan. So you only want this on a kind of medium high heat. Cream in as well. So we've got the milk and the cream on the heat here over a medium high heat. Uh, we're just going to bring this up slowly to uh, about 37 degrees. Um, I have a thermometer. If you don't have a thermometer, you want to watch the milk until it's steaming and maybe a few little bubbles are coming up. Um, and that is when you add your, add your rennet or your vinegar or freshly squeezed lemon juice. Obviously the different whether you use vinegar or lemon juice affects the flavour of the, of the ricotta at the end of the day. So just a little whisk every stir every now and again. Um, and like I say, it's very easy if you're using a thermometer. So we're up to 30 degrees already. Um, we use this mainly for our shakshukra, a nice little spoon on top of a spicy brunch dish is very nice. Um, you can also use it for lasagnas, pizzas, pastas, on toast. Um, yeah, very versatile. Um, nice little ingredient to have in your fridge just as backup. So yeah, 32, 33 degrees, so we're getting there slowly. Uh, I just like to stir it just to make sure that there's nothing, you know, catching on the catching on the bottom of the pan. Once we're up to 37, we want to add um, one tablespoon of uh, of the rennet. Um, we'll post the uh, the quantities on the video as well. There we go, so we, are, we are pretty much there. Grab a tablespoon. Vegetarian rennet, like I say, health food shops or online, you'll be able to buy this. One nice tablespoon of the rennet in there. Give it a good whisk around. And then you want to take it off the heat and let it rest for an hour or so, just so uh, the mix cools down and the uh, rennet gets a chance to do its work, split the curds in the way, and then allow it to coagulate for a bit as well. Okay, we'll see you in an hour. We've come back an hour later to our ricotta, which is now split out and is curds in the way. Um, I've got myself a bowl and a sieve ready, so we're gonna strain the whey from the curds um, to help make our ricotta. So I'm just going to line the sieve with, uh, with a J cloth. Nice clean J cloth. I'm going to give the curds and whey a little, little whisk around to break it all up so the, the whey strains off a bit easier. So through the J cloth and the sieve. Try not to spill any. There we go. So you can tie this up. I kind of use either uh, an elastic band or a bit of cling film to bring your corners together. And uh, you will start to see the, the way split out at the bottom. Like so. And so you want to leave it there for a, for a couple of hours um, until you kind of get a, a nice consistency in the, in the J cloth. Um, I leave mine for a few hours and then sometimes add a bit of the whey back to it 
just to get a nice creamy wet texture rather than a, a dry brittle ricotta you know I don't really like it too much like that um, so yeah we'll hang that for a few hours and then we'll come back to it and we'll check it for, for seasoning and consistency So we come back after a few hours of letting the uh, ricotta hang and as you can see there's a lot of, uh, of liquid has come out of the, uh, of the ricotta so I'll just undo this and, and see what we've got So as I said earlier I like to put a bit of the moisture back into it to keep it nice and creamy so there we go, homemade ricotta. Easy, so it actually is still quite a bit wet. You can leave it to hang for a bit longer if you like, overnight, if you like yours a bit drier. There we go, sit outside. So there we go. Creamy homemade ricotta. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we like to serve ours with uh, homemade chachikra and some fresh sourdough. So I just put that together and show we show you what we like to do here at Manston. So this is our char grilled red pepper chachikra. This is a really nice little brunch dish. Um, sometimes good with a poached egg. And some herbs and spices over the top of it. We've got some homemade sourdough bread. Um, personal preference if you like it toasted or not. You know, it's really good. Soak up all the moisture and the, and the spiciness of the shakshukra. Sit those in the back of there. A few, actually. We're going to season this up quite nice before. I think we'll just put a little bit of a uh, little bit of olive oil in there, extra virgin, and a little bit of uh, flaky salt. There we go. Give it a little mix around. Couple of dollops of the beautiful ricotta on top, and then we've got some homemade ducker for a nice bit of crunch and a bit of bit of extra flavour and spice over the top. A nice bit of lemon zest just to freshen it up. <laughs> 